Welcome back to SB Nation. They have blown up the Portland Trailblazers. Nate McMillan fired as coach, traded two big starters for draft picks and spare parts. Greg Oden finally released. With us is Ben Galva of Blazers Edge. What's the general mood in Portland, Ben? Hey, Matt. Well, I think the general mood is a little bit of a hangover after a very busy day yesterday, but we know admittance is the first, you know, the first step to the solution, right? You got to admit you have a problem. You can't be in denial about it. And finally, I think this management team realized the direction that they were going with these older pieces kind of thrown together, trying to make a run for the playoffs. It just wasn't going to work out. The blade had gotten really, really ugly. Guys had quit on the coach. It was time to go a completely different direction. So they shipped out two pieces in Marcus Camby and Gerald Wallace. They start to build for the future. Okay. A good team could be a couple years away at this point, but at least it's not the same old mediocre, uh, really low low effort team that we've seen for probably the last two months or so. What's the best move they made uh, at the trade deadline? I think you really got to like the value they got back for Gerald Wallace. Gerald Wallace is a player they picked up last year. They basically just rented him for a year. And what they were able to do is actually turn that into a lottery pick, a New Jersey Nets lottery pick that could wind up being a top five, top six kind of pick uh, for a player who was going to be on the last real year of his contract, but also had a player option that could have gotten complicated next year. That's a pretty good return. Uh, they had to pay a little bit in future salary to Sean Williams to get it done. But if you are going to try to rebuild everything, tear it down, go with the youth movement, you need to have assets. The Blazers were really lacking in assets, and now they'll have most likely their own lottery pick plus the Nets lottery pick to really try to rebuild on the fly. And what's the, uh, what's the one move that they made yesterday or didn't make that you would change? The real questionable one was firing Nate McMillan but keeping point guard Raymond Felton. That sends a really strange message. Felton and McMillan had gone back all year. He's played terrible. He's had all sorts of public uh, interactions and, and complaints about you know his role. He's admitted to being out of shape. Uh, he's you know said he didn't feel like Nate McMillan had confidence in him, and he's been labeled a cancer and a coach killer by all sorts of media members you know in Portland and nationally. So to have him stick around to not move him at the deadline and to get rid of your coach, it sends a really strange message. Probably not the one you want to send to the younger players on the team and to your fan base who's already turned on Felt. Right. Nobody wants Raymond Felton. But things are looking up for the Portland Blazers. Thanks for joining us, Ben. Uh, check out BlazersEdge.com and subscribe to SB Nation's YouTube feed.